Right then, this is a quick walk around video and this is for a car we've just taken in as a part exchange. This is a Hyundai Santa Fe 2.2 CDX Plus 5 seat car. Uh, manual, finished in black, it's in really good condition. It's a 2007 56 registered car with 135,000 miles on the clock. Um, but I'll go around the car for you. Uh, front of the car is actually very clean, the lights and lenses are generally good. A little bit of clouding at the on the top of the headlights which a little bit of cutting paste would soon get rid of. Um, but the front of the car is actually very clean. There's obviously some stone chips but they are actually very minor uh, compared to most you'd expect. Um, near side of the car, passenger side, it's actually very clean in the panels. I can't see any indentations at all. Uh, near side front alloy, absolutely unmarked. And the panel work, apart from you know, a good polish, I mean, it, it really is very, very clean indeed, this car. Um, near side rear alloy, again, really good. But generally very nice indeed. Coming around the back, bumper corners generally, again, really nice. You see there, it's fitted with a Witter tow bar, which is a good tow bar by all accounts. Off side of the vehicle, driver side, again, really smooth in the panels. No obvious nasty indentations. Off side of rear alloy, really good there. And then the main panel work is very, very good indeed. And then final alloy, again, pretty much unmarked. I mean, externally for a black car that's now, what, 14 years old or so, that's very, very clean indeed. Just a um, morning polishing and cleaning would make that look absolutely gleaming. So parked in the shade now because it's a lovely sunny day, but unfortunately not very good for doing videos. Absolutely enormous boot area, of course. And actually, I mean, we've not cleaned the car, but it's very, very clean indeed. Um, but uh, I said massive amount of space. Let's come to the back of the car now. Generally very good. A little bit of marking on the door card there, just by the handle. But the leather work and carpeted areas, I have to say, for a car this age and mileage and generally used by families, this one's got off very, very lightly indeed and been treated very well. Coming to the front and the passenger side, again, all very clean. Passenger seat there. Again, shows virtually no sign wear at all. So finally, driver's door card. Excuse my shadow. Coming to the, on the driver's side. And this is the side that's going to take all of the wear, especially on a car this age and mileage. But apart from really on the bolster there, where you get in and out, there's actually very little at all. So we're inside the car now. Engine's running through the section. Um, dashboard looks very, very, very clean indeed. So it's been kept far better than most you can see. Look the main dash binnacle there. I hope you can see there. 135,400 miles. No warning lights on the dashboard at all. Right then, this is a quick road test video and this is for... Sorry, it's someone directly behind me. Um, a Hyundai Santa Fe and it's the diesel CDX Plus I believe. Uh, this particular car is registered VE56PXG and mileage at the start of the road test is 135,391 miles. The reason we do these videos on all of our cars even including trade cars like this one is that we want anyone that's looking at the car online to actually see the car in operation. Um, we know to our cost how frustrating it can be to go and see a car which can look perfectly good in photographs and in vid and description but only to get them find out it's got issues which you'd much rather know about before setting off. So that's why we basically that's why we do it. Um, so coming to the car in question, as you'll know from the walk around video, this is a car that's coming as a part exchange to us. Chap bought one of our Honda CRVs, um, but obviously we take the vehicles as part exchange, and so they're offered, albeit well below what we truly believe they're actually worth, just to get the car, the website rather clear for our Honda and Lexus stock. Um, so coming to the car, uh, it starts absolutely instantly, um, settles to completely smooth even idle uh, there's no warning lights on the dashboard at all relating to the engine or any other part of the car 
engine pulls really really well uh, it's a very gutsy unit and actually very very quiet indeed i have to say it's uh, quieter than a lot of modern diesels um, but it's, you can see why they're so sought after for towing because it's got lots and lots of low down grunt um, but it hauls very very hard indeed put your foot down and it really picks up but as i said that engine is very quiet i have to say so all good there uh, clutch on the car again feels absolutely fine bike points in a, in a good position uh, it's nice and smooth in actuation uh, so all as should be five speed gearbox on the vehicle obviously it's a sign of the times i think most modern cars now go to six speed but the um, gears engage well uh, it there's not a lot of movement in the gears so that linkage seems to be in fine fettle there as well steering on the car this is where the car probably shows its age not in terms of wear but in terms of kind of how cars progressed because this feels much more truck like to drive the modern cars um, still you know perfectly positive and perfectly in the, um, tight in the way it feels um, they just slight, feel slightly more detached than sort of modern cars which feel much more truck like uh, car like as I said uh, but I actually quite like this because it's um, yeah, it makes it, it gives the car a bit of character I must admit it reminds me of my old Toyota Hilux and I used to love that the feel of that thing driving along uh, but it they say it tracks nice and straight and I, I can't feel any vibrations at this speed or any speed up to the legal limit actually suspension of the car and um, they're very 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 comfortable i have to say it's uh um very sort of smoothly sprung so you know long distances are i can imagine would be a very comfortable thing in these cars um you know to pretend for a second that it's a sports car would be completely wrong because you know it is it goes to the corners perfectly well but there's obviously you get a little bit kind of wallowing with the the nature of the car it is but that's been mega critical it's nothing that's wrong with the car it's just how they are basically but there's, there's no great knocking noises from underneath the car that you know if if i was massively critical and then i'm being really petty really you can the tiny bit of suspension noise on the far uh, it sounds like the near side maybe like a drop link or something um but that's as i said that that's me being over the top and i'm sort of basing that on a new car basically um i'll do the brakes in a second just make sure to get around the corner and give them a sharp jab so hold on to things but it's a nice solid brake pedal on the car and um, what i'm looking for is just basically that you know they they don't pulse or vibrate basically when you're hitting the brake pedals pedal rather and uh that's absolutely fine so coming inside the car i mean as i say in the walk around video it's been kept very very well in here i mean most of these have been absolutely hammered inside by families over the years but this one's been kept really nicely it's nicely built yeah, there's no it hasn't got sort of loads of squeaks and rattles coming from underneath the car um it actually feels you know very robust in here and it's actually really nice to sit in because it's you know with a lighter leather um it, yeah, it doesn't feel as gloomy as some with a pure black leather interior but the dash layout's really nice as well obviously that's you've got the kind of wood trim to break up the colors at the top and bottom which actually works rather well in the car um so coming to the only thing that i've noticed i said i haven't gone through every single button i've not tried every um or, in the modes for radios that kind of stuff i know the radio works and um, the only thing I, i've found um fan is fine seems to be coming out nice and cold out of there um temperatures you can change on there as well but um when you go to the finer detail if you press mode on there it doesn't want to change um so it might be something to do with the climate control panel there it may be one of these where you've got to turn it off and turn it on again i don't know um but I, that's the one thing i have noticed that the you can change the fan speed and the temperatures but you can't change the direction of flow on there so again I said the point of the videos i know most garages wouldn't even tell you but I, I like people to know before they come so they can make their own mind up um binnacle in front nice simple easy legible legible um dials there very nicely presented i have to say uh, temperature gauge running at just under half which according to mr google is exactly where it's meant to be um but as i said it's the video is only short in terms of the drive of the car but it, 
it drives very very well indeed you know it's not perfect far from it but it's you know it's a lot of car for the money it really is um but uh, at this stage at least driving the car it drives very very well